Hurricane Adalia is the first major hurricane this season to make landfall along the Gulf Coast. WSFA Fort Alert meteorologist Tyler Seabury is diving into the data today. Tyler, we mentioned this was a Category 3 hurricane when it made landfall. Put that into perspective for us. How do we compare it? Yeah, I think it's hard for a lot of folks to actually visualize how intense a high-end hurricane is. Cat 3, 4, 5, etc. Uh, Cat 3 is nothing to mess around with. I mean, Cat 1 and 2 can cause big problems too. So it was a Officially a category three at landfall. Now it was briefly during the early morning hours a category four storm, but the storm itself weakened just a touch in uh, right before landfall there, but you're splitting hairs 125 miles an hour versus 130 miles an hour. So really it was the same storm. Just technically speaking a category three just south of the city of Perry south of Interstate 10 there along the Big Bend of Florida, which by the way, this is now tied for the strongest hurricane to ever make landfall along the Big Bend of Florida. So that's very significant here. The last time a cat three uh, hit that area 1896. So it occurred officially at 745 Eastern time at Keaton Beach, Florida, with a sustained wind speed there of 125 miles an hour. Significant storm. It would be a significant storm no matter where it made landfall. And how about this little tidbit here? Uh, 2023 is now only the seventh year ever with two category four or stronger hurricanes in the Atlantic by August 30th. We had, of course, Idalia and we have Franklin that was a category four storm as well. So only the seventh time, seventh year in recorded history where we've had at least two cat fours by this date. Significant here. The season is certainly shaping up to be pretty active, at least thus far. Now, a lot of chatter on social media about retired names. We know I storms are the most commonly retired storm names. Uh, this one is an I storm, of course. Do we know if it'll be retired? Not yet, but has a chance considering how intense it is. There have been 14 I names retired. That does include Iota, which was a Greek name. So if you're going off of non Greek names, it's 13, but 14 I storms. The next closest is F with 10. So it remains to be seen. The National Hurricane Center, Bethany, among other entities, will do uh, survey damage and they'll look at the data and they'll determine here uh, in the coming months whether or not this storm name will be retired. If it is, it's taken out of rotation and a new I name will be inserted. That is something we'll watch. And of course, we'll also give you the updates regarding additional data that becomes available when it does become available. All right, Tyler, interesting information right there.